Tip number four, use fit transform on training data, but transform only on testing slash new data. This is crucial, okay? So let me clarify a few terms and then I'll kind of explain this in more depth. First, when I say testing data or new data, testing data means like data resulting from train test split, for example. Um, new data means truly new out of sample data where you don't know the target value, where you don't know the label. Okay, that's the distinction I'm drawing, but it really doesn't matter because you apply the same workflow to both cases. The other thing I want to clarify is fit underscore transform is a method you call that runs a fit followed by a transform. Okay, it runs the fit, then it runs the transform. But it's more computationally efficient than running a fit and then a transform as separate method calls. So fit underscore transform is a single method call. It's more efficient than running fit and then running transform on the same object. You can do that, that's fine. It's just slightly less efficient. So on training data, you should use both. On testing or new data, you should only use transform. You should not use fit. Now why is that? Because it will apply the same transformations to both sets of data. Let me give an example. If you're running one hot encoder on that embarked column we saw in our X data frame, it will learn the columns C, Q, and S from the training data and it has to create those same columns C, Q, and S for the testing data. But let's pretend our testing data, our new data, only has the Q value. You still need one hot encoder to create the same three columns and you still need Q to be represented by the middle of those three columns because your training and testing data need to have the same number of columns and they need to mean, those columns need to mean the same thing. So that's what I mean by it creates consistent columns. Um, let me give you another example of all of this. Let's say the imputer learns a mean of 31.2 from training data. Well, it will fill in 31.2 if that value is missing in the testing data. Okay, so simple imputer does not take the mean of the testing data and fill that in. Okay, so the point is you use fit and transform on your training data to learn that mean age of 31.2 or whatever it was, but when it comes to your testing data and you run transform only, that says don't relearn a mean from the testing data. Instead, fill in the mean that you learned from the training data. If you did instead fill in the mean of the testing data, that would be no, what is known as data leakage, which basically means learning something new from the testing data. That is not allowed because it doesn't properly simulate reality. And simulating reality is the whole point of model evaluation. You're supposed to pretend that some data is new. You do train test split and you pretend that the test data is new data. You can't learn something new from it. So that's called data leakage and data leakage results in inaccurate model performance estimation. And the whole point is I want to estimate the performance of a particular model without actually having new data. Okay?